Hello, it's Miss Julie from Miss Julie's Virtual Preschool and Craft, and I'm here to do a springtime story for you. But before we get started, you know what to do. Hit the subscribe button below so you'll be able to see all the videos I've created just for you. Okay, today's story I chose is called oh, The Easter Egg by Dan Brett. Look at the front cover, very nice details. I'm gonna show you even more. Look at those details. I see rabbits, and a bird, and a chick, and a lamb. Lots of fun spring details. Let's see what the story's about. Cheer up, cheer up, spring is here. Time to start on my first ever Easter egg. Poppy said, each year the bunny who decorated the winning egg got to help the Easter rabbit hide the eggs on Easter morning. Poppy had been dreaming about being that bunny all year long. Now it's time to get started. Everywhere Hoppy looked, rabbits were working on dazzling eggs. I mean, an amazing idea, he thought. Hoppy spotted Flora, bunny, planting spring wildflowers in her eggs. The Easter rabbit will love those colorful flowers, he thought, and started picking flowers for his egg. Here's a basket for your flowers, Hoppy, Flora said. Chop, 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 scrape, scrape, scrape. Hoppy spied Buster carving magnificent wooden egg. I wish I had some wood for my egg, he wished out loud. There you go, Hoppy, Buster said. And he put a smooth round piece of wood in Hoppy's basket. Thank you, Buster, Hoppy said. They're very nice to each other. Hoppy was hopping along when the smell of sweetness led him out of the woods straight to the chocolate egg that Aunt Sassafras was decorating with creamy frosting squiggles and bows. Hello, Hoppy, she said, and she put some chocolate squares in his basket. Hoppy, hip Hoppy flamed, I'll make the Easter rabbit a chocolate egg so sweet it will make his whiskers tingle. Then Hoppy saw Granny Irene decorating one of her fabulous story eggs. First, she traced a design on the egg with a special tool. Then she dipped the egg in pots of yellow, green, orange, and red dye, adding to the design each time. Hoppy couldn't believe his eyes. I'll never make an egg that beautiful, he told Granny. She smiled. Try, she said, giving him one of her special tools. Hopping by Hans' garden, and he spotted an extraordinary egg. Hans was painting a portrait of the Easter rabbit. So real, it looked alive. Fantastic, Hoppy exclaimed. Thank you. Why don't you make a painting on your egg? He gave Hoppy a pot of paint and a fine brush. As Hoppy bounced along, not boingy, almost knocked him over. Whirling and twirling mechanical egg. Whoa, that's unusual. Would you like to make one, said Roberto. Happy tried hard. Harder he tried, the more parts, pieces piled up around him. Thank you, Roberto, but I think I better make the egg that is right for me. Happy hopped back to the woods and lay down under a tree to think. Making a beautiful egg is hard, and then I imagine he thought, I don't have to win. I just want to make an egg I'm proud of.
Suddenly the woods rang with squawking of birds and sounding an alarm. Mother Robin swooped down, calling wildly as if she couldn't decide where to go. An egg had tumbled out of Mother Robin's nest. Inside the perfect egg was a baby robin that needed his mother to keep it warm until it hatched. Poppy knew what he had to do. He sat down carefully and covered the blue egg with his soft, warm fur. I'll take care of your, you the best I can, he whispered. We leave the mother robin chirped and settled down into her other two eggs. Poppy never left the robin egg. It was sunny and warm. He carefully covered the egg. If it was rainy and cold, he kept the egg covered and dry. At night, the wild animals passed by. Poppy crouched down, stayed hidden in the ferns. He often heard strange noises coming from above, but Happy didn't run away. Every day, the rabbits worked on their eggs. Tadpoles turned into frogs, buds swelled in leaves, and Easter became closer and closer. Finally, it was time for the rabbits to take their eggs to the glen. They had forgotten all about Hoppy, who quietly sitting on the blue egg under the tall tree in the woods. Early the next morning, the rabbits waited for the Easter rabbit. Suddenly, a beautiful wagon rolled toward the midst of them. And stop. The Easter Bunny stepped down from the wagon and admired the colored eggs, decorated eggs, one by one. You have bought me the most beautiful eggs in the world, but a very special one is not here, he told them. The rabbits were puzzled. Whose egg could it be? Fill my wagon with your wonderful eggs, he said. When I return, I will show you. And he disappeared into the woods. He came back with Hoppy, looking scruffy, bed wrangled. Hoppy is an amazing egg to be proud of, Easter Rabbit told them. He asked Mother Robin's egg to keep warm and safe until her baby bird hatched and she could take care of it. The Easter Rabbit placed the empty blue shell in place of honor upon the wagon. Now they were ready to go. Rabbits cheered for the egg that surprised them all. It's our best Easter ever, Happy, they shouted. The brave little bunny and the Easter rabbit rolled off together to hide the eggs for the girls and boys to find on Easter morning. I hope you enjoyed the story of the Easter egg by Jan Brett. I want you all to go to your library and check this book out because it has beautiful pages and pictures and the story was wonderful. There are a lot of details to find. I hope you enjoyed the story. I want to come back next time to Miss Julie's virtual preschool and crafts. Thanks.